Very good morning. Good morning, teacher. How are we? We are fine. Uh, no one sent me any challenging numbers. I don't know that people tried out some. So we had left off and we now know very well how to read the table. We know how to read the calculator. Now, I'm going to look at examples and we see how best most of these examples can be approached in what the problem. So we have example there, example three, which reads, the population approximately follows a normal distribution with a mean a mean of 60 find the probability that uh, In a sample of four items selected at random, at least two have a value less than 54. I uh, hope you have taken, you have the numbers in the WhatsApp group. I can go back to my white page because the space here is not enough. Or maybe I can use this very space, okay. If I use this space, one, the mean is, the mean is 60, the variance is eight, meaning sigma is root of eight, which is two root of two. They are saying the probability that X is less than 54. And this can be standardized to a bit of Z is less than 54 minus the mean, which is 60, divided by sigma, which is two root two. This gives us probability of Z is less than what? Calculate. Excuse me, teacher. Mm. We have you got 54. It's less than 54. 
at least two will have negative value less than 54. The last expression. We have, are you in the WhatsApp group? If you're in the WhatsApp group, read the question to the end. It's negative 2.12132. Negative two points? One, two, one, three. Negative two points. One, two. Two, one, three, two. Okay. The look table is in a small places. Now, our Belgian curve looks like this. Where is this? It is on the left. So this is negative 2.121. But we want less than. So less than it is this one. Okay. Now this can be got by using either P on a curve. Or you can say using a table, probability of Z or using Q is negative 2.121 is equal to 0 0.5 minus the probability from negative 2.121, less z, less zero. When you read the table, because the negative is the same as the positive, what answer do you get? Then those of us who have calculators, press Q. Give me the answer. The calculator value is 0 0.483. 0 point? 483. 483. 04. 04. 04. So when you subtract, what answer do we get? We get 0 0.01696. 0 0.01 one six nine six nine six. 96. That's a calc. Someone read for me from the table. Read for me 2.121 from the table. Hmm? Uh, my question, uh, mm. what conditions do, uh, do you need to add this 0 0.5? What conditions do you need to use 0 0.5? Eh? Yes, add. Add? Yes. Add hey, when you're starting from negative infinity, eh? up to this way on the right, because this half here is 0 0.5. Eh? So if something is around here, you'll have to add on what is here. So you get 0 0.5 plus P. Someone, I want someone to give me a value from the table. What do we get? Guys, are you having tables or you are just there? Zero point four eight three zero. 
Zero point. Four eight three zero. Eight. Are you sure three it's four zero. eight or four eight two six? Four eight three. Sure. Yeah. Yes. It's zero. Okay. Like that. Eh? Yes. So when you subtract, what do you get? Zero point zero one seven. Zero one seven, eh? Yes. Zero. Okay. This is a tab. Now the question said. Uh, find the probability that in a sample of four items, we have a sample of four items. So N is four. Uh, selected at random, at least two will have a value less than 54. This one goes to binomial distribution. So the success is what we have got as the probability of being less than 54, which is 0 0.170. Zero. Can you get the failure? If you remember binomial distribution, what is the failure? here? One minus P. What is the sphere here? Actually, just add this one to point, point 0.5, which is 0 0.9. 0 0.983. 983. Now the probability asked, they have said at least two. At least two, at least two means greater or equal to two. So this is the same as probability of X is equal to two or probability of X is equal to three or probability of X is equal to Four. But this is the same as the total probability minus probability of x less than two. X less than two is the same as probability of x is zero or probability of x is one. So it is better we use this second one because it is shorter. So x is zero substitute. If you recall how to substitute for probability in binomial distribution, probability of x is equal to small r is defined by any combination r, p power r, q power n minus r. Then you find those values and substitute. So that is why whatever we cover, people don't just throw it away. Now here comes a question which requires a mixture of binomial distribution with normal distribution. So you will finalize that. Mm. Uh, I'm a question to you. Aren't the question said, find the probability that in a sample of four items, eh, selected at random, at least two will have a value that is less than 54. Now you have to first find the probability of the value being less than 54. That probability is X less than 54, which has been standardized and we got the probability up there. But that probability is the probability of having two items out of the, to having at least two items out of the four. So to have at least two items out of the four, what we want to get is the success. How do we get the success of those four items? That success was got from that probability we have just found, which was this one. So if that became our success as a probability, we had to look for its failure. When you get its failure, you can now be in position to go ahead and find the probability using the binomial distribution for success being 0 0.017 and for failure being 0 0.983. And then you find the probability of X being greater than or equal to two. And then with that, we brought in the binomial distribution. So the normal distribution helped us to find the probability of success.
and failure. So those who missed this topic of the normal distribution, I think you'll visit my YouTube, which is Rwama Hamza. Some of those topics are there. So whoever missed binomial distribution, go find it and then try to go through it. We are, we are going to have another area which is going to be called normal approximation to binomial distribution. You'll be needing a lot of uh, this distribution combined with normal distribution. So it's going to be part of this topic. We shall have it. Okay. Uh, I want to use the for the other page. These pages uh, they get to mix me a little. So I want question two. So people can take this screenshot. As you can see this question, this one was short, I could even write it the other side. Question says, a random variable X is normally distributed. So people who used to ask, how do you know that it's normal distribution? They will tell you it is normally distributed. With a mean did he? and standard deviation standard deviation two fine one of a bit of x is less than one two of a bit of x is greater than three given that X is less than five. Okay. So with this distribution one, we have to standardize. So X minus is less than one is the same as per bit of Z less than X, which is one minus the mean, which is three out of standard deviation, which is two. Those of you who are not there, Z is equal to X minus mu out of sigma. This is called standardization or standardizing. So therefore, this will give me probability of Z is less than negative one. So according to that, we draw our normal distribution curve to investigate the region where that lies. So probability of Z is less than negative one negative one is right there less than it is coming from negative infinity up to where it is so probability of z less than negative one is the same as probability of negative infinity less than z less than negative one when you use p you get the answer straight away when you use q and the table this is what is going to happen Probability of Z less than negative one is 0 0.5 minus probability of negative one less Z less zero. What is the answer you get when you read the table for 1.0? Because probability of 1.0 is equal to probability of one. Those who have used P, what answer have you got? 
Calculator is 0 0.158. 0 0.158, exactly. No, what is more six, six. Six, yeah. six. Uh, yeah. Then the table. Hmm? Table O2. The table is zero point one five eight seven. Zero point one five eight seven. Hey. When you I want to divide you subtract two. Well, it is zero point three four one three. Zero point three four one three. Three four one. Three. So giving us zero point one five eight eight seven. Eh? Eight, eight. Eh? eight what? Seven. Eight seven. Okay, though this one was having six six. Then we round it off. Now there is part two. <laughs> Part two says probability of x is greater than three, given that x, x is less than is five. You know, from the conditional probability of a given b, it's given by probability of a intersection b, if you recall, over probability of b. This will be probability of x is greater than three, given x is less five, will be probability of x greater than three, intersection x less than five, all divided by probability of x less than five. And now if x is greater than three, it includes four. If this is the three, four, then the five is not inclusive. So idea they are saying x is four is the intersection. So this will give me probability of three less x less five, divided by probability of x is less than five. This is the same as, uh, having probability of three less than, less than what? Less than three minus three divided by two less than z less than five minus three over two divided by the standardization of z less than five minus three over two. This will give me probability of zero less than z less than one out of of z less than one. Those two are different. Are you doing? I am simplifying. Where are you lost? That step where you're dividing all through by two. All through by two. Hey, and I'm standardizing. Sigma was it two. Eh? The mean in mu was three. Remember to get z, you get the x you have minus mu over what? Over sigma. Now the x here is three. So three minus the mean, which is three over sigma. Then the five here is the x, five minus mean three over two. Down you have x is less than five, z less than five minus three over two. I'm standardizing. Yes, it's okay. So after standardizing, look at the numerator. Probability of zero less than z, less than one, can be got from here. That is why I told people how to read the table. 
you don't know how to read the table, you're in trouble. So this is direct reading from the table, which is probability of Z is one. Get me the answer. The second one, which is down probability of Z is less than one. My friend was asking, when do we add? Now, this is when we add. When they say probability of Z is less than one, less than one includes everything given the negatives. So this side is 0 0.5. Then this one you add on probability from zero, less than Z, less than one. So this will give me 0 0.5 plus probability of zero, less Z, less one. When you read one from the table or from Q on the calculator, what do you get? Zero point. Teacher, from the calculator, mm. the final answer is one. Eh? Impossible. Another one. Mm. Teacher, zero point three four one three. Three four one three, correct. Yes, please. Sure, uh, the final. Uh, I would like to repeat to me on uh, on the previous step. Uh, mm. we are, uh, 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 we have probability in the bag is three minus three out of two, uh, the down one denominator. Mm. The dominator, uh, uh, it's somewhat confusing. Z, uh, Z is less than five minus three out, out of two. How they have come about, eh? Mm. Okay. Pay attention, eh? Don't blink. Let us step. I, I worked it at as a whole. Now let me separate them. The numerator is what? Probability of three less x less five. Do we agree? Yes. The gentleman who asked. Do you agree? Yes. yes. When you standardize this one, it is going to be probability of three minus the mean over sigma. You agree? Less than Z, less than five minus the mean over sigma. That is the numerator. Of course, now I substituted the mean, which is three, and the sigma, which is two, to come up with this part. I thought people knew how to standardize. Then the denominator. The denominator says probability of x is less than what? Five. Standardize this, you'll get probability of x, I mean z is less than five, which is x minus the mean mu over sigma. Whereby that would give us probability of z is less than five minus the mean three or is over two. In the next topics, as we go ahead, I will not need to write this. This is uh, zero star school averages. In a five star situation, you as five star students who have smartphones with the five star teachers, with five star books, by this, we expect you to do it on head. I will expect people to know that five minus three in their head over two is one. You don't need to write it down. You just come from here and say, for a bit of Z is less than one. But since we have seen in our initial stages, we can show how it comes about. But with the time, we shall just be seeing it by eye. Unless if it has decimals. But if it has obvious values like those ones, you compute with your head and write down the exact value. So gentlemen, are you better than what you were before? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's good. Any other concern? If no other concerns, please go ahead. I got the, the numerator as this one. The denominator as this one. Now we are dividing the numerator over the denominator. What is the value of the probability of that condition? Zero point four zero five. I what? Five seven calculator. Yeah.
Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. Sir, so, please, I beg your pardon on this part of, is it standardized? Or? Hey, were you there when we are beginning this last topic? Yes, teacher, but I didn't understand the meaning of these things of, is it X sigma? Okay, new? okay, okay. I get what you're saying. Z is what we call the standardized, standard. Dized value of x. Why? It is because the values range from one up to three, or from negative one up to negative three, from zero up to negative three, and from zero up to positive three. So we standardize it to fit within that range of negative three to positive three because the value of z reads between negative three and positive three. But how to get z? This is the expression for standardizing. You get the x value they have given you minus the mean divided by sigma. There's another condition which is coming. For a sample mean, if the mean is a sample, we shall have to divide by root of n, sigma over root of n. Now, this is the definition or the equation for standardizing Z, for standardizing X to Z. Now, if I have probability of X is greater than A, it means it is probability of Z greater than A minus the mean mu out of sigma. For example, if I had probability of X is greater than 30, it means it is probability of Z greater than 30 minus the mean mu out of sigma. The values given will be in position to compress the value of x you had to z, which lies between negative three and positive three. So that's how standardization works. If I have two values, probability of a less x less b, then I can standardize both sides and say it is a minus mu over sigma, is less than z, less than b minus mu out of sigma, those brackets. Then it will give you a range of values which lie still within negative three and positive three. I don't know whether that makes better sense. Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay, the next question there, the group which you have, it says a random variable. A random variable. X is normally distributed with a mean. five and the variance four. Fine. One, probability of the magnitude of X minus five is greater than three. Two, probability of magnitude of X minus two is less than four. Now let me remind you, we said when we have probability of magnitude of A is greater than X, sorry, magnitude of X is greater than A, then this is the same as probability of negative A less than X less than positive A. So with this, it implies that probability of a magnitude of X minus five is greater than three is the same as probability of negative three. 
Uh, no, this is greater than, it's greater than it is one minus. Someone is in the chat. Please, if you be in the chat, better send me the, better unmute and ask the question. This is the definition I, I was missing the one. When it is greater, we subtract from one. So this will be one minus probability of negative three less than X minus five greater than three. Tukume Jasper never got the answer to the previous question. Tukume, what are you using? Table or calculator? Tukume, what are you using? A table or a calculator? Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. So for me, I still have a question on that same example which Tukume is on. This Was one, that eh? part where you say that now we are standardizing mm. Z. Yeah, I understood how you explained it. Now my question is, mm. uh, why were you like standardizing? Were you why, why, why was I? Uh, standardizing, like why? Why was I standardizing? Yes, teacher. Hey, and I've said, eh? you have a table. Eh? You have a table? Yeah, it's here. You have a table? Yes, teacher. Look at page 51. Is I it page 51? It. Yes, teacher. On our table under the column of Z, what is the first value? Yes. Uh, 0, 0.0. What is the last value? 3.0. You see that? It means the values range from 0 up to 3. But remember, Z can be positive or negative. Though the values of the negative have the same probability as the values of what? Positives. Now, the reason why we are standardizing all of them, eh, I think you are asking, why am I standardizing the theory? Is that so? Yeah. Hmm? Yes, teacher. Yeah, I think yes, that's teacher. what your question is. Exactly. The reason why we are standardizing the theory, it is still X. Are you getting my point? The three is still what? X. X. We have to make sure because the column of the table does not have X. It has what? Z. Which Z is a standard, standardized value of X. So you have to convert the X, all the X's you're given to Z. Ooh. Am I making myself clear? Yeah. So, however much the three you're seeing it and the three was assumed to be in the Z, it was not yet Z, it was still X. So, convert the three yeah. to X. Just like you are saying, why there is standardized one? The one was still X. Convert it to Z. Have I made myself clear? Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. So, back to our question. Now, this question, because it has magnitude, you have to simplify one minus probability of bring the negative five to negative three, you will get five minus three is less than X. Uh, this, this is less than, it's going to be less than five plus three. So this has condensed to one minus probability of two less than X less than eight. Now, this is what we standardize. So to standardize that, what shall we attain? We shall have one minus probability of two. The mean is five. The variance is four. Less than Z, less than eight minus five, or is over four, we are standardizing. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. Shouldn't be over two. Shouldn't it be over two? The variance is, hey, hey, you know I forgot to identify. Variance is sigma squared. So sigma alone is two. The mean was five. So it is always good to identify them like that. So if you have not done that, you'd make this become root of two. 
root of 4. So this is going to be negative 3 out of 2, which is negative 1.5. So it will give me 1 minus probability of negative 1.5 less z less than 8 minus 5 is 3 divided by 2 positive 1.5. Those of us who read the tables earlier, those of us who analyzed all the possible probabilities of Z, we should be in position to recall that probability of negative A less Z less positive A, the answer is twice probability or zero less Z less A. Do you remember? You don't remember, draw our normal distribution curve and check it out. Positive 1.5 lies on the right, which is 1.5. Negative 1.5 lies on the left, which is 1.5 and negative. But the area here is the same as the area there. That is why I'm saying it is twice the probability of one of them. Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. How did you say one minus probability of five minus three? How did? How did you get five minus three? Like when you said one minus probability of five minus three is less than X greater than five plus three. Oh, here, here, here. Yes, sir. Okay. Now we are solving this part. You see this part? We yes. have to leave X in the middle, okay? It means the negative five has to go on both sides of this inequality and that inequality on the other side. When it goes, it becomes a positivity in both cases. That's why it became five minus three and five minus plus three on the other side. Okay, sir, thank you. So I've said this is the same as twice the probability of one of them. So I've used the positive straight away. Read the table. What is 1.5? Which is zero point four three 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 zero point three 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 is greater than three, and we said it's the same as one minus 0 0.8664. When you subtract calculator, what else do we get? Zero point one three two six. One three 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 six 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 tab. Screenshot part one, I go for part two. I'm going to do it on another page, which is fresh. But meanwhile, we can have questions if some people have some. Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. When they say magnitude of X minus five is greater, is less than three, like when the sign changes, do you have to say one minus probability of, of X minus five? The way we wrote it here in this question. Uh, now, what you're asking, eh? the probability of X magnitude is greater than A. If you have seen it's the same as probability of one, this is where it is. These are extremes beyond the positive A and negative A. So the extremes are this one. Whereas if the question says probability of magnitude of X is less than A, so this is probability of negative A less than X less than positive A. Then when they say probability of magnitude of X is less than A, this is with V, which is equal to probability of negative A less than X less than positive A. 
So if it is within, it is sketched like this. Shall have negative A, shall have positive A. With this reason, you can have all this in the middle. So that's how you can illustrate that interpretation. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. Teacher. Mm. Teacher, my network had jumped. So I'm requesting you to please explain to me the second step after you saying one minus probability of negative three less than X minus five less than three. So that next step, why are we saying five minus three less than X? Okay. I've seen the step you're saying. Uh, let me wrap off this definition here. People send questions in the chat. Teacher, where is the answer? Where is the Jasper? Jasper, uh, is your network? Are you okay? I, I, I think Jasper has a very big question, a very big problem. We didn't get out the answer. I got it. Where is the answer? Where is the answer? Which answer? We have done so far many numbers, so I don't know which answer you asked me before. So probability negative three less than x minus five less than three. This is what I did here. In order to have the middle term as X alone, you have to remove the negative five. How do you go about it? By adding five on everything. The way we solve the equations, X plus one is equal to four. Then you say X plus one minus one is equal to four minus one. Subtract one on both what? both sides. So this becomes a bit of negative three plus five is less than x minus five plus five is less than three plus five. This is how this goes off and finally we get five minus three is less than x is less than Zinga. Yeah? Which gives us a bit of two less than x less than x. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Uh, was the, the, point, okay now. Uh, the point of the magnitude x uh x minus five. That's uh, uh that's the sign uh, uh uh negative five goes on. Hmm? Uh, I'm saying that uh the point of x minus five. Mm. Wait, uh, wait, uh, uh, I'm saying that why does the sign negative uh, does not occur to, uh, to both sides? The negative five. five it occurs example. to both sides. Guys, okay, let me, look, let me do the next number. Maybe it will make it clear. Let me do the next number. You see the next number. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. Teacher, like I wanted to ask the other question of magnitude. Yeah. Auntie, I'm, the, the next number is also about magnitude. Can I try oh, the next number? I've eh? got the one for. You have got the one for? Okay. The graphs you've drawn below. Mm. Uh -huh. I've got the one for less than A, but the one for greater than A, I've not got it. At Kakati, when the magnitude is greater than A, remember magnitude it calls for plus or minus, not so. Do you agree? Yes. So it means we are yes. looking for beyond positive A and beyond negative what? Idea that is like this probability of x is greater than plus or minus what? Are you getting the picture? Yes. If I say plus or minus a, it means beyond the positive a and beyond negative what? A. Of course, starting from where? Starting from zero. Then the other within less than 
A and less than positive A. This one of less than means less than positive A and less than negative A within the values before you reach those values. So you start from zero. Before you reach those values, they are, range, they are ranging from here up to A before you reach A, from here up to negative A before you reach negative A. That is less than. Then greater than is beyond those values. Teacher? Yes, please. Where are we saying one minus that? Where are we saying one minus? Yeah. yeah. It is because this region I'm shading with red. This one. Can it be read on a table from zero up to A and from zero up to negative A? So to get these other ones, which are extremes, you get one minus the total, one is the total probability of the curve. So one minus the red area. Hmm? Thank you, teacher. Yes. Ideally, one can say it is the same as one minus probability of magnitude of X less than A. It's the same. Okay, let me handle this one, guys. Maybe it will make you feel better. Uh, probability of uh, negative four less than X minus two magnitude less than positive four. So this is the same as probability of negative four less than X minus two less than positive four. The two goes over this way, the two also goes over that, which will give us probability. Uh -huh. of, of course, uh -huh, eh? Yes? Uh, we were saying uh, the negative, uh, negative point two. We were saying what? I was saying the negative on two. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, Why does uh, it become a positive? Yes. Yeah. Do you remember inequalities and equations? X minus two is less than four. Simplify, what is X? Is it... Give me the answer. Six. Six. Uh -uh. X is not six. What is the answer? Someone give me an answer. X is less than this. Very good. This is an inequality. If it is an inequality, then X is less than six is the answer. My friend who was saying X is six, it is X is six when it is like this. That is when you say X is what? Six. Now, according to what we have, okay. Now let me explain for the last time, guys. Now I'm taking you as people in primary. People in primary sort of inequalities like this. Split negative four and X minus two. You will get negative four is less than X minus two. Do you agree? This will give me negative four plus two is less than X. You'll get negative two is less than X, part one. Part two is from here up to this. X minus two is less than four. You'll get X minus two plus two is less than four plus two. <coughs> X is less than six. Therefore, merging those two, you get negative two less than X less than six as your answer. So according to what the question wanted, yeah, you can now simplify. Hmm. Hey, okay, we have to standardize it. Standardizing will give us probability of negative two. What was the mean? Five over two less than Z less than six minus five over two, giving us negative 
less than z, less than 0 0.5. So what we get? We shall get zero point five zero negative three point five. Ah we can now read the table. Probability from negative three point five less z less zero plus probability from zero less z less zero point five. What do you get? Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. So you say the range is supposed to be from negative three to three. Mm. How come hey, you're wait. getting negative 3.5? Ah. I've got what? Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. You got negative six, negative two up to negative six. No, 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 this is not correct. But anyway, it's the value we are getting. Hmm? It's the value we are getting. If it's the value we are getting, then we have no option. We just leave it at that. So, when you use the calculator, it comes out. No, I'm saying. Mm. Please remind me how we use the pouch later. Okay, what, what do you want to use? To get Q to P. To get that P. Mod mod. SP. Mm -hmm. Shift mm -hmm. 3. Yes. Which you are S, right? Yes. Okay, when you press two, two reads as the table reads. You first yes. press two and put for us negative 3.5. Future. Yes. 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 Negative 3.5. Equals. Mm. I'm getting 0 0.49977. Mm. 0 0.499. Seven seconds. You know what that means? It means if you yeah. standardize any value and it goes beyond the TD, then that probability is 0 0.9, 0 0.5. Okay. Then do the same and get for us 0 0.5. Put, put 0 0.5. Someone else investigate. Put two and put Z is 10. And we see whether 10 gives us also 0 0.4799. Who is that one? Who, is that? Who has given birth? So 10 gives 0 0.5. 0 0.5, not? Yes. Yeah? Yes, teacher. 0 .5. Yeah, so anything beyond the three will give you 0 0.5. So it becomes 0 0.5. Now put here two is 0 0.5. What do you get? Actually, that means anything beyond the three is very negligible. Eh? 0.19146. So when you add them, you get 0. Point. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. 
Yeah, which I've always wanted to ask you this question, but I don't know, I used to keep forgetting. So when we are like finding our answers in the college, sometimes you say use P, sometimes Q, sometimes R in the paper. How will I know I'm supposed to use P, R, or Q? Depends on the curve you've sketched. Okay. Hmm? How? Aunt Kakati, if you sketch the curve like this, this is your curve, right? And you shade on this side. Here you use P. Oh, okay. Are we together? That is why those curves are very important. Are we together? When you draw a curve, yes, teacher. And your curve looks like this. Zero up to negative A. And you have shaded here. You use two. Okay. Or you have drawn the curve, it's like this. It has positive A this way. Positive A and negative A have the same probability. Still, this you use what? Q of Z. Okay. Then you finally. Eh? If you have used R, then your shading must be beyond. Or it can come from the positive negative to the positive. Maybe this is A, this is negative A. This is R. Z, this also is R. Z, for this other case, no. it should have come from this way. Oh, teacher. Teacher. This other case, first wait. This other case, you can come from this way. Also, this is P of Z. So, not these words. From where you are, up to negative infinity, we use P. From zero, up to where you are, we use Q. Whereas from where you are, up to positive infinity, we use R. Have I made myself extremely clear? Uh, no, teacher. Mm. Uh, yes, teacher. Thank you. Uh, uh, when are you adding 0 0.5? Uh, ah, the, that's another uh, situation. Wait. First, leave it. The lady, okay. are you okay now? The lady, are you very fine? The lady who asked, where is she? Has she gone off? Oh, she's dozing. The lady who was asking the question. Let me go to the gentleman. Yes. Um, I've understood you. Thank you. We still have to do something. Now, the guy is asking, when do you add 0 0.5? Is that your question? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Eyes open. Now, if you are not in a new, you don't want to use the R. But you have used the two or the table, and you have read this value from negative a up to zero. Know this side is 0 0.5. This is when you add on 0 0.5 plus negative a less z less zero. The same will apply here. This is zero, this side is 0 0.5. Then from here up to there is A. You'll get 0 0.5 plus probability from 0 less Z less A. Hmm? Does that make sense? No, teacher. Mm. Uh, uh, on that point, now, uh, 
What are you going to use? Are you going to use Q, P, R, O? Where? For the 0 0.5. Point of, eh? point of 0 0.5, uh, yes. You use Q strictly. Q. Yeah. Then if you want to subtract, you use R. You want to subtract from one, you use R. But it's okay to get one side. You might get confused if you know all of them, but it's also good to know all of them. If you're getting a little confusion, get one, use that very one. That is perhaps if you use two or the table, stick to those ones only. Okay. There was the last number I sent there, number six. Mm. Number six is here. Yeah. See the number? Take a screenshot, those who don't have it. Those who are on the group, you already have the number. I'm going back to the white page. But let me first read through the number. A large number of students take, took an examination. The mini mark was six seated with a standard deviation of nine marks. And 45 students had more than 72 marks. Estimate the number of students who took the test. They are not asking for probability, they are asking for the number. Hmm? Now, next week, let me announce this. Next week, all of you should have a table. Eh? Have you had my statement? All of you, it is a must. Those who have been enjoying the calculator, we can't reverse. Eh? In physics, we have reversible processes. The reversible process of this topic is only in a table. We can reverse going backwards to read the Z value from a probability using a table, but we cannot use a what? A calculator to go back. So I'm requesting everyone, everyone to get a log table, four figure mathematical table. Those who do not have, maybe someone will share the screenshot of both. I need both pages, page 50 and page 51. There's that small table on page 50 down, we need it. We also need the main table on page 51 where the curve is. So please, special announcement, everyone should come with a logbook, come the next class of probability. Because we are going to see how we obtain Z values from a given probability. It means we are going to work backwards. I had forgotten to make that announcement. But now I've made it very clear, everyone knows. Let's go for the question. Okay, question. Spread. Teacher, we we have will we, we have will we have tests? Yes, just but we are going to have a test. So whenever I give a test, people is camouflage like chameleon. Number six is saying a large number of students took an examination. The mini mark mu. 60. The standard deviation is nine marks. 45 students took the test. No, 45 students had a mark more than 72. For a bit of X greater than 72 is equal to 45 students. Capital A, total number of students is what the question wants. Excuse me, sir. Mm. Some of them don't have the question. Don't have the question? Yes. You, are you on the group? No. Do you have a WhatsApp line? Yes. Send me a WhatsApp to add you on the group. First, take the screenshot. Okay. There is the question. 
Can you see it now? Yes, yes. Yes, take a screenshot very fast. We'll go back to the other side. So I'm done, I'm done. Okay. Thank you. We're done. I'll go back. Now, here we are, and we are going to be saying, um, we need to find the probability of those two dates. Whereby, because they have said probability of X is greater than 72, standardize this. You'll have probability of Z is greater than 72 minus 60 divided by nine. You'll get probability of z is greater than 12 out of 9, which is the probability of z is greater than 1.33. The table reads to three decimal places, so that's where you can stop. Now, in that regard, because it is greater than, we say it greater than, we can use r on a curve. It's already positive, don't waste time. You can use R on the curve directly, or you can use two and then subtract from 0 0.5 and so on and so forth. So this is what we're looking for. This is 1.33. Those of us who read the table, it is 0 0.5 minus probability from zero less than Z, less than 1.33. What does the table value give you? Pardon? When they give you the variance. Hey, when they give you variance, that's when you find that's a square root. Because variance, eh? standard deviation is the square root of variance of x, okay? So meaning variance of x is equal to sigma square. Thank you. Yes. So what do you get? Excuse me, teacher. Mm. Oh, seven. What do you get? Zero point four zero eight seven. Zero point four zero eight seven. Zero point five minus the answer. What do you get? Zero point one three. Someone is saying something. Someone was saying something, but our network is scant. Teacher, the 0 0.4087 is the final answer. Oh, impossible. Teacher, it is 0 0.0913. Hey, the 0 0.407 is here. 4087, it is there. Okay. So beyond that region, you say that 0 0.5, which is here, minus this probability to give us this last one, which is 0 0.0913. Right? Someone was saying something? OK. Teachers, yeah. that. Since this 1.333 is repeated, why don't we put three to four decimal places so that we can also get a figure to add from Of course, the now the reason why I put to three decimal places, eh, it is because the table reads up to three decimal places. 
You get it? But you can put it to four and use a calc. Or when you use a calc, actually put in 12 over nine, the whole of it, you'll be safer because you'll have, you'll have accounted for all the values. Now, guys, look here. They say 45 students, we are sure got max beyond 72. It means max beyond 72, the probability of those who got it, that probability is this one. So that probability comes from the total number of students who got beyond 72 out of the total population should give us the probability, which is 0 0.01091. Now, according to this, N will be equal to 0 0.0913 times capital N. We are looking for the total number of students, capital N, which is the number of students who got beyond 72 out of their probability giving me 45 out of 0 0.0913. Capital N is what? Teacher. Hmm. 0 hmm? Teacher, for me, I beg your pardon on that <laughs> in part. Aunt, you know probability? Probability of anything eh? is got from the number of events over what? Auntie. Over sample what? Sample space, not? So the sample space is the total number of students. Out of this number of students, 45 had max beyond 72. What is the probability of getting max beyond 72? That probability is 0 0.0913. So to get to the total number of students, capital N, I cross multiply it down and I get the answer. Okay. Hello, someone get me capital N? I need to find out the same way, just my economics. It is 492. 493. 492. 8806. 8806. Very good. Now, listen to this. These are students. Not so. We do not have decimal students. So, never in your life should you put the small students. So what do you do? You round off and say capital N is 49 students. When you leave it like this, actually it's a zero. Hmm? If any decimal goes through, that decimal accounts for the next child. Please, sir, can the procedure for getting the probability value on the calculator be repeated for me? Nabunya, Marisa. Nabunya, Nabunya, do you have a calculator with you? Oh, I did it already. Nabunya, Marisa. Yes, you have the calculator with me, but the, the time whereby you tell me. Okay, you press mode mode. Has it brought SD? Yes, teacher. Hey, press one. Shift three. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Should be bringing P to R. Yes. Press R for this very example. Yes. Equals. Yes. Equals, what answer do you have? 0 0.091. Which is the same answer. Thank you. Welcome.
Any other question? Teacher. Mm. Like you've been speaking about that test, yet you promised us a mechan test that you didn't. I never gave you the mechan test. I think I should combine the two because they're the same paper. How do you see? Hmm? Let us prepare by the let us prepare early next early next early the early new month. That is uh, after next week. I'm going to combine mechanics and start because this is the same section. So I'll come, I'll bring a paper on uh, relative and resultant velocity. I'll bring a test on continuous random variables and uh, normal distribution. Yes, someone was asking. Uh, when we say it, Pardon? self group with you. On what? I can't uh, get you right. Uh, uh, I'm saying that this, uh, this is that this. Where are they going to post the test? Hey, where shall we? I'll communicate. Don't worry. You shall have it, of course, on Google Classroom, I think. Yeah, those who are not on the group WhatsApp, please let me know. I add you because someone's already here saying, teacher, I'm not on the group. I want to add him right away. Then when you go to the group, ask for every information I've ever sent on the group so that people can help you send it to you. Either on the group again or in books. Either way, you will have the information. Today we are finished on time because we are finalizing this part. So next week, we are going to learn how to read Z values from a given probability. So we come when we are not ready for that. Otherwise, we can have a nice day. So is there Thank also start for Mr. JP? Oh, Mr. JP is teaching numerical. I'll ask him how far he has gone so that I give you a standard paper. But I'll just bring two, two numbers for each so that you have only two, two numbers to do, so that you don't worry so much. Thank you, teacher. Anytime. Thank you, teacher. Anytime.